name is James Cebulski, and one of the hottest teams in hockey will look to keep their win streak intact on the ice tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Blackhawks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Shot! Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the club. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Takes the pass. And it's a quick pass to Champion. Here's a shot. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. And they win the face off and set up to go in the attack. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the towel. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible, and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Michael's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Shuts the door with a great save. Stick feed. Take I love that he fights to get tight to the net here, and it's all about accuracy and a quick release. It's not about how hard it is, and he doesn't miss. The Wild have been the more aggressive team, and look at this, Cheryl. They're on the board. They're aggressive, and their habits have been strong, especially in the early portion of this first period. You know, you want to try and get everyone into the game, get their legs underneath them. Quick shifts, good habits, and they're rewarded as they capitalize on that first goal. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Campbell's on the poke kick and it pays off. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Quick pass to Richards. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Too much congestion in front. Oh, he just Niskanen's role in the defensive end is to keep the top of the crease clear of attackers who are trying to set up a screen in front of his goalie, guys. His bouncer zone ability means he's so good at boxing out those opponents and giving his netminder a clear sight line of the play. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Zucker. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Taken by Niskanen. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. Harding's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Michael's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Pass across to Burns. Knocks the puck loose. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Here's a short pass to Burns. And they send it right back to him. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Denies him again. 
man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Koivu's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. Musa quickly over to Mastaspare. The Blackhawks have it now. Takes a hit on the play. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. This is a dialed in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Too many bodies in the way. Here's a chance to the middle. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. Chicago's won the faceoff at center, and he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Made the stop on the play. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Hammers one from the point, scores! And the rookie pots his 10th of the season. I think no matter who you are, you come into a season and you apply pressure to yourself, your own personal expectations. I think this number is a nice number for him, James. I think they'll be happy with number 10. Oh, that's fast. Two quick goals in a minute 20. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Ten goals now for the rookie. I think it's fair to say he belongs. Uh, he believes he belongs, no question about it, James. It's not just the production, but it's urgency around the puck. You can see that he's just eating up everything that the staff has to say to him. There's good communication on the ice. I feel like he believes that he is a big part of this group. And now he moves it to Heatley. Makes a move in front, and he kicks that one out. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period, Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Oh, what a stick save! Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Sun and tries to make a diagonal pass to Zucker. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Blackhawks gain possession. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Michael's got control of it now behind the cage. And Ross got it in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head. He's known for his incredible quickness, James, but when he gets a step on you, he is all but gone. If he reads there's some ice and he can drive the net, he's gonna take it. This time, the goaltender makes the save and denies him. Uses the force on that hit. Shot, Claude save. He's on it tonight. Goes to the sweet spot. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the Hattie. Well, this is a great goal in the backhand, James, and it looks easier than it is. I mean, you gotta get it off quickly. You gotta have a smooth delivery, but you have to have the power and strength to get it off. Minnesota's going to want to take this lead into the first intermission. They have really looked sharp tonight. And they 
take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Things start to get a little physical out there. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Bedard's return to the lineup certainly gives his team some added boost in offense as he gets a dangerous shot right off the hop. Minnesota's put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the first. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Koivu. Slides the puck to Kane. Takes a shot, and that goes off a body. Bedard's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Bedard. And that's poked away by Prosser. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that goes off course off a of body. Moves the puck. And he makes the save. Here in the late going of the frame, 3 nothing is where we sit. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Look out, there's someone stepping up with some physicality. I like this, James. You're almost out of the game, but you're finding a way to claw yourself back physically. And no better way to send a message than lay a huge one. Off a stick and they can't connect. Minnesota's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway. Here we go, lots of time left in this one but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. Scores! Break out the quad here on the ski lift because that's four unanswered. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. Great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Wild have shown no signs of letting up here in this second period, continuing to push forward. Well, the game plan has certainly been to pepper the net, whether you've gotten that front presence or not. Find a lane, get it through. That's been the mantra, and they've been rewarded for it. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Makes the club stop. Harding's had a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. Minnesota's won the draw. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Champion. And now it's grabbed by Johns. Strong defensive effort. Thunderous collision along the boards. Cuts into the paint. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Off target. Pass to Keith. Slides it on over to Hosa. Here's a shot. Now he slides it up to Koivu. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And he moves it up to Gabrinkin. Here's a chance! And he makes 
makes the save. Minnesota's offense has come to play in a big way as they've dominated both the shots and goal category. And they win the draw on their own end. Slides the puck over. Comes up with a stop. Puck picked up by Dabrinkin. Carries it in. Feeds it over on the attack. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Taves is the captain of this roster, James, and everyone is looking to him. That's why he wears the C, and he's got to rally his team and find a way to get back into this game. The Wild have it now. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Chicago's in now. Takes the feed. Oh, big time save by Dubnik. And a little body contact on that play. Puck grab by Corbett. A nice save from point blank range. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders. And they lead here in the second. They win the draw and go on the attack. Shuts him down. Here he is in class. And they score. The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly. And there's nothing worse in the score than having your own crowd just give way on you there. Not happy. You can hear the booing tonight in this building. Just a tough game all the way around. I think they screamed uncle about two of these ago. The key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Takes the feed. And that's blocked from someone in front. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Big hit on the play. Granlin's got it in the defensive end. Great poke check on the reach. Sends the pass over. Now a quick pass to Hagel. Sends a pass over. They move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Blackhawks have got one back, but they need a lot more now. Can they build on this? They have to build on this. They have to be harder on the puck, and they cannot chase the game. They have to find a way to get it on their stick, and when they do, they've got to get shots to net. And off the face-off, they take possession. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Dabrinkit. Minnesota's had a tremendous game so far, James. They've owned puck possession. They've been dominant in the offensive zone, and they're not afraid to attack the net. It's a lot of fun when you can play this way. And he slides it quickly to Gostaspair. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Moves it to Panarin. Let's go! Goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to 
put that rebound in the net. Lieutenant's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Chicago's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Steps into the offensive end. Quick shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Good hit. To the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Minnesota's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Koivu's won the faceoff, and he passes it up ahead to Silverberg. Rocks him on the play. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Picked up along the wall by Hosa. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Silverberg's gonna play it against the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. Picked off by Yolmerson. The Blackhawks will play it against the boards. Oh, just a great heads up play by Burns. Dubnik's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they take possession after the defensive zone face-off. Quick feed to Heatley. Saucy pass across. Turns him away. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Here in the back half of this period, no shortage of offense, most of it from one end. It's 5-2. Collins won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Talk about sacrifice, what a block. Denies him in front. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. He was left in there. Minnesota's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Scores! And that's 30 of the season for the youngster. Well, what an unbelievable year that he has had, just showing his knack for the net in his unbelievable shot, James. He's been outstanding. Anytime you're in the grade-A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick-release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Minnesota's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm, and they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. Johns works the puck in his own zone. Passes it over to Champion. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Angles it over to Saad. And a stick breaks that up. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke chip. Comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Richards wins the draw inside his defensive zone. And he takes the dish into the middle of the neutral zone. Cuts to the front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. It's amazing. 
interesting to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Minnesota's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. Richards wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. And he makes the save on that play. Oh, how did he get a club on that? What a stop by Dubnik. Ah, beauty save path there. He's really owning his crease. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. And he takes the feed. Looks to make a play over to Niskanen. Takes the feed at the back end. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Minnesota's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Now over to champion. Quick shot! Oh, denied on the play! Whoa! True competitor save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. And they win the draw here in their own end. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. That's a solid hit. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. A little rock of sock him on the play. Kane's looking pretty banged up out there, James. Looks like he's fighting, pushing through something. He's struggling to get to the end of the shift. That's blocked. Puck scooped up by Seabrook. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Puck sent over to Hagel. Moves it to the middle. Dubnik's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here in the stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Receives the pass. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Inside the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Battle along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Granlin. Sends it down low. Right in front of it. Scores! The captain comes through! This is such a beautiful executed goal but it's all in the past James knowing exactly where everyone is on the ice you have to have the hands to be able to distribute a puck like this but how about the vision how about scanning how about processing where everyone is this is unbelievable from start to finish the Wild have continued this onslaught here in period number three they've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish and they've been consistent right through this third period James if they can continue this push they're gonna ride this one home and the defenders come up with the puck. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Minnesota's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. 
This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The Blackhawks have gained some momentum from that fight. It's all them as they win that one. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets, and here's the upcoming faceoff. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Minnesota's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. Stalls won the draw here in the offensive zone. Panarin's picking up steam. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Niskanen's taking it from his own end. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't connect. Handles the pass. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Stops that one right with the team logo in the chest. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Michael. Along the half wall with the puck. Centering feed, and he denies that great opportunity there. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Minnesota's top line is gonna come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective, they contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. And now it's over to Bedard. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a short pass to Michael. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And that's intercepted by Saad. Dumps it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Sends it over to Enroth. On the attack along the boards. Huge blocker save by Crawford. Uh, he's reading these shooters so well. He's getting in front of them. He's aggressive. And he's challenging them to beat him, James. And that's what I love about him. A ton of confidence. Slides the puck down low. And he takes the feed. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Knocked off the puck. There's a collision. And a solid save on the play there. Moves it quickly over to Colby. And he takes the pass. Blocked in traffic. Oh, my, you could feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Chicago's got it in their own zone. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, and he stopped that rocket! Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Incredible replay! for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Battle along the boards. Moves it to Prosser. Granlin's lugging the puck. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Richards. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Rocks him. Pucks to the paint. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And here's a pass to Richards. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Shot. How did he stop that one? Now a quick pass to Burns. Oh, that's a 
good hit. Shot. Oh, what a close save by Crawford. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Who had the edge? Carlin standing by with the answer. Michael's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Rips it and rips it! That's gloved by Crawford. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stop that one. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. You gotta keep your head up if you wanna play this game and be safe in it. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Beats the puck to Champion. Oh. Champion's got the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, I slick work with the glove by Crawford. And he slides it quickly to Saad. Fires it on net. Denies it with the save. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off.
The Blackhawks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Final seconds of this one. An absolute clunker performance by the home team. And the fans are letting them hear it. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Minnesota's put in one of the most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time like this third. Quick shot. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Minnesota's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. And there it is! Michael's hat trick, the big difference tonight. Probably got himself a few new hats as well there, Cheryl. What a performance to put three goals past the tender at this level is certainly a feat, James. And every time the puck is on his stick, he knows exactly what to do with it. And that lethal shot, it was on display tonight. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight. And we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.